<laughs> okay, welcome again, friends. And uh, today we will look uh, sh in short about what is, is going on on, on the corino receptors and the adeno receptors. Let's start with the corino receptors. Ah. Corino receptors. These are receptors that are used in the parasympathetic mm -hmm. nervous system and they use acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter for the activation of the post-synaptic uh, membrine in order to uh, allow the continuation of the nerve impulse pass through. Let's start. This uh, the, the is a chlor the chlorinergic uh, system that uh, is usually found in the parasympathetic nervous system. Here we have uh, acetyl coenzyme A and a choline. The chlorine is pumped from out of the nerve cell, but the acetyl chlorine comes from the uh, mitochondria that are present in the in the synaptic bulb. Therefore, when acetyl when acetyl coenzyme A and chlorine combine under the influence of the of the of the enzyme called uh, chlorine acetyl transferase, they form acetyl chlorine. Therefore, the form the uh, acetyl chlorine is transported to enter into the vesicles that are found in the synaptic bulb, and uh, these take place under the pres under under the influence of transporter that are called VAT. VAT means uh, vas vesico associated transporter, and this you are in the VAT, the VAT, which is a vesico associated transporter. Once uh, enter here, it will be as stored, and when it will be needed. Uh, acetyl chlorine uh, will be activated under the influence of calcium and when it will be uh, activated therefore it will fuse with the pre with the pre pre synaptic membrane it will fuse and uh, therefore releases the acetyl chlorine and the acetyl chlorine released will go and combine with the chlorine receptors to ensure its effects but what's happening when uh, the acetyl chlorine already the the, the impulse already, already passed this transmitter it is to be removed in the synapse in the synapse because it it will be left in in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the synapse will cause other effects and uh, can cause even exaggeration of the effect so what is needed is required if, if for this uh uh, a neurotransmitter, acetyl chlorine, to be uh, removed under the presence of an enzyme called acetyl chlorine elsterase, which will break down the, chlor the acetyl chlorine into the chlorine and the acetate. And the chlorine can be can be taken back in uh, or cycled to enter into the nerve to enter into the synaptic bulb again. But here we will see there are. Uh, some of the arrows that point on these uh, on these parts what does this mean we know that the chlorine that combined with acetyl chlorine uh, with acetyl coenzyme a produced okay. by the mitochondria is pumped from out of the nerve cell and then uh, this uh, acetyl chlorine is, 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 uh, is pumped under the influence of, of a pump of a pump this one Therefore, there are some of drugs, for example, drug called hemichlorinium. These are these are inhibit the pumping of chlorine uh, from out of the nerve cell into the out into the into the nerve cell. And also, we see there is a basamico here. Basamico a drug that uh, prevent the, the, the a, a drug that inhibit the vesicles associated transporters. To transport acetyl chlorine and store it in the vesicles, but also we have another drug called uh, botulinum. This uh, is the drug that uh, inhibit the release of acetyl chlorine into the synaptic cleft. Into the synaptic cleft. This is the this word is called the synaptic cleft. The synaptic cleft means the region between uh, presynaptic uh, nerve and postsynaptic nerve. And uh, Therefore, uh, we have this one, uh, this one uh, which is called VAMP. This one uh, is uh, is called the vesco associated membrane proteins, also which is used in the regulation of acetyl chlorine and release of acetyl chlorine. And we have CA 
CNAP as this is called synoptosome associated proteins and uh, this is, is, is so usable uh, during the recycling of acetylcholine and this is a uh, word about the cholinergic transmission let's see about non-adrenergic uh, transmission and this is uh, the one that is used in the sympathetic nervous system used in the sympathetic nervous system but which is the neurotransmitter is either a norepinephrine or noradrenaline or sometimes epinephrine we know that uh, the formation of this uh, the of, of the norepinephrine start from here whereby the tyrosine is pumped into the cell when tyrosine is pumped into the nervous cell will be uh, undergo hydroxylation under the tyrosine hydroxylase to form dopa to form dopa dopa which means dihydro ox uh, phenylalanine and this dopa is converted into dopamine the dopamine will therefore stored in the in the vesicles and uh, when it's needed it will be released uh, in the presynaptic uh, membrane by, by, by fusing with the presynaptic membrane in order to release into the synaptic cavity and uh, the release of the, the the activation of this vesicle to fuse with the presynaptic membrane is activated by the calcium calcium this one calcium yeah this positive means it has a positive effect that affected the release you know that you see that this are but this one is positive it, that show that it uh, has a positive effect on the release of these uh, neurotransmitters but we will see some of arrows like this one this one and this one they have a uh, 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 a link that have a negative sign this it means inhibition for example metyrosine metyrosine is the drug that uh, inhibit tyrosine hydroxylase effect uh, to convert tyrosine into dopa and we also have a rizepine rizepine is a drug that inhibits the pump that uh, pump in or uh, that or that is used during the during the storage of dopamine and also we have guanethidine this is the drug that is uh, also associated with the inhibition of the release of norepinephrine into the synaptic cleft into the synaptic cleft uh, in the noradrenergic uh, system but uh, also we have this one cocaine and the tca and the tca means try cyclic antidepressant these are uh, as the drugs or chemicals that inhibit uptake of norepinephrine from the synaptic cleft uh, into the nerve cell again you know that if the norepinephrine is is already used and its function is already met therefore it's required to be reuptaken into the into the nerve cell but the, the uptake of this uh, can be inhibited by cocaine and tca tricyclic uh, at depressant and uh, this one are the adrenal receptors uh, as you see these are post post synaptic <coughs> membrane and uh, in, in general this are uh, is the is the short description about uh, the characteristics of transmitter synthesis storage and release and also the termination of action eh, at either a cholinergic or noradrenergic nerve terminals and also it shows some of the drugs that uh, inhibit the release inhibit the synthesis the storage or termination of action of these uh, chemicals uh, and uh, otherwise I have no other thing to say than say that and uh, remind you to subscribe our channel in order to get more more concepts and videos that are coming thanks